Check it out, the babies are hatching. So we got all these babies hatching right here. You can see their little noses hanging out. Look at this, this is a Sunfire Motley Anthrax Tiger. It's a really, really cool snake and really rare. There, right here we have a Sunfire Anthrax. It's beautiful and it's not the most common snake in the world either, to be honest, because these are all specialized genes. Unfortunately, I want to. we're gonna learn today about in this video. So I'll show you this in one second. Here you go, let me show you to you now. So I need to go through these eggs and put my fingers in there to check things out and look at things because look what happens if you don't. This one was entangled in its umbilical cord. You've seen me, you've seen me more than once untangle one. Well, this is why we actually open the eggs and look at them because th this happened last night. It crawled out and it choked itself out on its own umbilical cord. It kind of a bummer. It happens on people even, to be honest. Sometimes that's why they have to do C-sections and different things. So the idea of what we're doing here is to help all these little babies come out safe and sane <laughs> because we want, we want them to do well. And uh, here you go, Tim. So I'm gonna hand them those two and we're gonna look, we're gonna look at these eggs. All of them are open, but this one, hopefully everybody's good in there. So I'm gonna take this little pair of scissors, do it a little bit different because these are already already kind of open. I don't know. I like I like doing it a different way, but there we go. So there is a perfectly good looking healthy snake, and the best part about it is it doesn't look to be tangled up or anything. So that is a uh, motley anthrax. So that's looking that's looking great, looking really good. No tiger in it. Ooh. Ooh, look at that, it's 100% ready to come out. And the way we can tell is, that, remember that umbilical cord that was entangled? There it is, gone. So it doesn't even have an umbilical cord. So now the question is, what do I do with them? <laughs> so I'm gonna take a look at these eggs. These have all started slitting last night. So they've been all night breathing, and when they breathe, they suck their egg, their, the air in. And whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I got snakes going everywhere. I'm gonna have to get some help, Tim. There we go, keep handing them off to him. There we go. And this is a motley anthrax, right Tim? Yep. So there's two motley anthraxes, and again, 100% ready to come out. So we don't want any more to end up like that other one, so I, hopefully, hopefully I didn't wait too long. I sometimes usually cut them all, but I didn't think there was this many. Oh, look at that. A beautiful sunfire, wow. Beautiful sunfire motley. Tiger, it's beautiful, look at that snake. And completely ready to come out. See the umbilical cord gone? This other one isn't only ready to come out, he's coming out on its own. And that's another Motley. And uh, that one's got a unique pattern. It's, uh, it's got a lot of spots on it, a lot of pattern. And 100% ready to come out. So we're just gonna check all their umbilical cords. I wish I, oh, look at this, this look at this one now. This one's probably not ready to come out, but you see, this can be dangerous too because it's it's got its nose kind of stuck in there. It's got limited air space in there, there you go. But at the end of the day, if I don't take a peek at that, what could happen is it could be tied up in the belco cord, try to crawl out, and we've had the same thing happen. Now, what do we got here? Oh, now see, there's the belco cord and it's not entangled, everything's looking good. Tim, what makes them look like that? Is that just a Sunfire Motley? It looks so different. It looks like an anery. I know it does. This one over here does too. I know, I thought the same thing. But that one's really different looking. So that one's really close to coming out despite the fact that the egg wasn't open very far. Look at this one. Absolutely beautiful. This female's produced anery before. Yeah, it would make sense. So these, these, this particular female, Tim was saying, look at that. Just completely different looking. What, now, how do we get so many mollies? Man, you get good odds. <laughs> really amazing odds. So they're, they're, a lot of these are ready to roll. So here we go, here's a regular anthrax. We haven't seen one of these for days. It's funny, because we have all these special genes. So, so now, so instead of that one that got all wrapped up, this one here absorbed it all. You can see, that's the yolk right there. That's the umbilical cord. It's, it literally sucks the umbilical cord and the yolk inside. And the umbilical cord gets so skinny that it just falls off and, and there's a beautiful, healthy, gorgeous anthrax. Now, ant, this is the actual gene of the snake. 
without any other genes in it. So that's the pure single gene anthrax. So I say single gene, but it's actually a recessive gene, which means that it has to, the gene has to come from the mom and the dad. So in a way it takes two genes to actually produce it. Whereas a sunfire, it only takes one gene from either the mom or the dad and you'll get sunfire. So like these are all anthraxes, but you see that's a sunfire anthrax. But that, but we used, but one of the mom, one of the mom wasn't an, wasn't sunfire, right? Yeah. So the, the mother is just an anthrax, but you see she still is able to make sunfire anthrax. See, there's that little tiny leftover, like just barely anything hanging there, leftover from having, absorbing its yolk. Look at the beautiful pattern. It's like, I don't even know what would you call that pattern, but it's beautiful, I think. Bangle anthrax. Bangle, there you go. What do you think? You having fun? <laughs> so we're going to keep opening these up and checking them out. There's a pretty good clutch of eggs. We had a good success rate. Unfortunately, we lost the one. So now, so there, that one's ready to come out too. See that? See this right there? It's not entangled or anything. We still have this one that's completely hasn't even started opening. So, yeah, for sure. Another Annery Motley. Uh, our Motley has Annery and and now we know this female carries that annery looking gene too. So check this out. See the color, how it's just absent. So the color is literally absent in this snake. So it'll be a very beautiful snake in a completely different way. I like the colorful ones, but the, the annery is literally missing red pigment. So if we get a, if we get a tiger sunfire annery, you'll see that it'll be considerably different than the other ones. So hopefully, hopefully we'll have one. So this is a, that's weird, almost looks like a platinum, but it's a normal anthrax, right? Mm. It can't be anything but. Yeah, it looks like a normal anthrax. Yeah, so there's a normal anthrax and it's completely out. Now this one's got a little bit of red red part left, but you see that's still just gonna fall. It's literally just rotting off. The other one had a little tiny drop of yolk with it. And uh, should we open that egg? What's in the egg, guys? Is it the special one? The funny thing is sometimes, whoa, look at that. I, I don't, never get, what the heck? I know, but it's not platinum? No. Okay, it looks platinum because it's so stretched from the yolk and the yolk showing through. It made it look platinum. I like, I personally like tiger anthraxes and that's a beautiful tiger anthrax. It's, I don't know why, but a tiger to me is like a necessity in anthrax. And I almost prefer tiger platinums as much as any gene there is, to be completely honest. And uh, here we go, this is a, and there you go, this one here. Now what is that, Tim? Motley anthrax. Pr probably an annery, probably, huh? Yeah. Wow. So it's real pretty little healthy little baby. There you go. So all these babies seem to be like cut late last night, early before we close. Of course, the, our hours are a little bit odd right now because still from the COVID thing hanging out. Oh, look at that. So you see, wow, that's pretty. So it's not a sun motley, is that a, like a sun motley? Yeah, so this is a sun motley, no tiger. Whoa, man, the motley really came through solid. So I'm gonna take those eggs out of the way. I think it, I think we ought to open that one egg to see what's in there. Of course, I'm keep opening, hoping something real special is in one of these eggs anyway. And when I say real special, everyone's real special, but sometimes just by craziness, we get like odd snakes that you just don't expect to ever see. And, and so it's always fun to get something that you don't expect, right? And uh, look at that, that's a beautiful Sunfire anthrax, no motley, but beautiful Sunfire. It's funny is I think what we have is some of the Sunfire, some of the Sunfire, Sunfire anneries we think are motleys, but they're not. That's, I'm, I'm gonna go, that's why there's so many motleys in the clutch. We'll figure it out because Sometimes it takes a day or two for us to like get it all wrapped around our head because what we're doing here or not, believe it or not, is never been done a lot of this stuff. And so here we go. Let's see here. Now this is a beautiful sun tiger. Is that a motley? I, I'm, yeah. No, no, that's just a sun tiger. Well, maybe it's a sun tiger motley. So that's a sun tiger motley, but not as pretty as the other ones, no. but different. It's striped out a lot. Is Was this head stripe or anything? Uh, no. Okay, that one's really stripy. And uh, so I'm gonna keep piling these eggs over here. I think we gotta go ahead, oh, look at that. That was one of the ones that was out before we even started. 
So look at the eggs. By the way, these eggs are like leather. They're literally like a leather product, <laughs> product from de directly from a snake. <laughs> but they're, they, cause that's because they grow as they absorb water and they actually shrink sometimes too a little bit. Yeah. So it kind of gives them something to breathe through because it, you know, they, have to, they have to breathe through this egg. And of course they can't, when they start to actually hatch, they can no longer get enough oxygen and uh, without getting their head out, and that's why some of them don't make it. Now this one here, this one here is making me nervous already, but I think I just felt it move, so I'm feeling better already. And you see, see how there's almost no blood? When there's almost no blood, that means something's getting ready to go bad. The good news is there is blood and there's the, there's the veins. So there it is, it's not gonna be ready to come out. Oh, it's actually slightly kinked up. So, so the reason, so this snake here, probably would have never came out to be honest so let's see what we got here oh look at that this one's beautiful right it's gorgeous it's a little so this one here is a sunfire anthrax but a really pretty one look at the pattern on that just look at that wow that is gorgeous so I'm gonna give that one another minute or so. It's not, it doesn't look like it's tight, tangled up. And there's an anery. Boy, that ain't anery, I don't know what is. So this is, wow, that's a sun anery. Yeah, it is. There it is, that okay. Is so, remember I said it's missing red, right? So because it's red and it's missing red, it's super anery. And look at that, you see the special pattern on its tail? That shows the pattern, shows that it's a sun anery. So this is a sunfire anery anthrax, and I guarantee you there ain't many of these in the universe. That's for sure. So that is a stat, like I said, I was hoping for something insane. I'm not done yet. Boy, look at that. That's another one. Another one yeah. So here's another sunfire. Wow, so now we got two of them for sure. Whoa, oh, that's a motley. Yep. So this is a motley sunfire. Ooh anthrax no tiger that is a cool snake look at that so that right there will probably be one of our future breeders and wow that is gorgeous wow what else is that? i mean shoo who knew the video would be so crazy at the end look at this whoa 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 are you are even ready to come out slow down there turbo so oh see it's not ready to come out so this one is ready to, it thinks it's ready to come out. Whoa, 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 back in there. It won't, it, it's more than likely would be fine because it's short and fat. Where the other one, this one here, you see it wasn't ready at all. So it actually had enough of the, of the uh, umbilical cord to actually tie a knot around it. But with that, that one there, the umbilical cord is really thick. So there's no way it can tie a knot because it's at the very end of the whole process. I and mean, we got some really cool genetics. And we're gonna let these last couple ones come out probably in an hour or so. And then this one might take a little bit and then we'll see how this one goes. So anyway, keep living the dream. Good job, Tim. Woohoo! Look, she's excited. <laughs> I got a question for you. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, and then the other eggs, do you get like two little ones in one egg? Absolutely, so she asked a great question. Do we get twins? Yes, we've had triplets. One time we had one clutch how many, how many eggs was it? There were six sets of twins. Six sets of twins. Three, three sets of triplets. Three sets of tri triplets in one clutch. So it was insane. It was actually an old YouTube video, funny enough. And uh, it was incredible. So yes, we do get twins. We had some just the other day. And anyway, keep living the dream, you guys. Thanks for, thanks for following. And I hope you enjoy the educational 84 days at 90 degrees. This is what you hopefully get when things go right. We've had, we had a couple little incidents, but we learned from them and we keep going on. So anyway, take care guys.